So I already have my answer because I've been able to think about it. But I want you to guys, want you guys to come up with two dream collaborations. One dead or alive doesn't matter. Um, one a full project, uh, a collection of people you'd like to see for a full project, and then two just one track from a group of people. So it can Wait, be so you know, artists. Uh, it can be a full full project dream collaboration. So mm-hmm. whatever artist producers or whatever, and then one track from a, a group of people. Because I, I feel like some people work really well on like I think it could work well on a full album, and then there are some people I think should just do one track together and it would be dope. Okay, so you're saying like, um, you know, put a rapper with a producer for a song, and then um, another one for yeah. a whole album. Is that what you yeah. mean? Okay. Yeah, and it can be multiple artists on that song too. But uh, I'll give you just to give you an idea. I'll tell you mine now. My dream song yeah. is uh, Black Thought, Ab Soul, and LCL. Now you guys don't know who LCL is by that term, but I'm gonna explain something. So Lupe Fiasco. There's two versions of Lupe Fiasco. There's the Lupe Fiasco that we have right now. With the dreads and the terrible music, and then there's low cut Lupe, who's LCL. Oh, uh, so, so 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 you don't want Chief Keef's older brother. You want older <laughs> Lupe. All right. Yeah, I want the Lupe that gave us Fahrenheit, food and liquor, the cool. I want low cut Lupe. That's a real thing. That is a different person from who we're experiencing now. But I want low cut Lupe, Absol, Black Thought, and I want the track to be produced by Just Blaze. Hmm. That is my choice because I I, I think Just Blaze really can do just about any style, but I haven't heard Absol or Lupe on something like that. And then what Black Thought I think would be incredible because uh, Absol actually did a black a track with Black Thought and Talib Kweli, and it's one of the best verses I've heard from Absol ever. Didn't um didn't Just Blaze do something on Food and Liquor though? Did he? I don't. I don't remember if he did. Wait, did he did he produce the track with Jay Z? The the pressure. Yeah. I maybe think he did he do that one. Might have. I have to look into it, but I'm I'm not entirely sure. But that's that is the collective I would have for the song. Now for an entire project, there's All City Chess Club, which is never gonna freaking happen. <laughs> and for those that weren't familiar, that's. Lupe, Mickey Fax, uh, Charles Hamilton, Cool Kids, Blue. Uh, who else was in that, Joe? Do you remember? Um, Asher Roth. Asher Roth was in that. I want all of All City Chess Club plus Tyler, the creator, because I think if it did stick around, some of the Odd Future guys would be a part of it. But I want All City Chess Club plus Tyler, the creator. But on the production side, Tyler, Charles Hamilton, and Jay Dilla do the production for that whole project. That's my dream album. Hmm. Now, since y'all have had some time to think about it, what you got? Joe, you want to go first? Um, yeah, because I think I know, I know my song. Um... Actually, no. I think I know my album. I would like to hear Kendrick Lamar on Ill Mind Beats for an album. That's a hell of a matchup right there. And I think because I love Sky Zoo, and I love Sky Zoo and Ill Minds live from the tape deck, and that's similar styles. Right, right. I can hear hear you on that one. So I think that that would be my album. As for my song, ooh, I don't know. That's tough. I thought you were going to come out with like some Young Thug, Jeezy, Gucci, Thugger. Uh, <laughs> no, because, <laughs> not because they all, they, all, they, they all already work with Metro Boomin and, and Mike Will and all of them, like in 808 Mafia and all that kind of stuff. Like they all already work together, so that happens all the time. Uh, <laughs> um. Ooh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Gary, have you thought of any? Um, I'm having a tough time with the album as well, but um, for the for the single, 
I would say um, I want it to be a, a DJ premiere beat, and I want okay. um, on that track I want Fabulous, Budden, and Lloyd Banks just going in on the track because you know be I think um, I think New York rappers you know they they suit primo beats and you know um, those three specifically are some of the most lyrically talented you know of the past ten years or so. You know, in in that sort of area. I know Budden's not actually from New York, but it's it's yeah. that tri-state area. So, you know. True that. True that. Well, that, I I think that'd be dope. I have a question though. While Joe thinks, um, have you listened to Sky Zoo, like a project from Sky Zoo yet? Who? Oh, you're Gary, talking to me. Gary. No, no. Oh, Gary. Okay. oh, me? Yeah, yeah. I've heard Sky Zoo. Okay, cool. Because it's like I I know you have a lot of love for the New York. Um, artists and stuff, and I, I think he is arguably the better artist out of New York. Currently, the sad thing the sad thing is that New York's not going to promote him because he's not Bobby Schmurda. <laughs> oh, yeah, Man, I, I don't even I don't know the politics or the whole story behind that Bobby Schmurda thing, but those clips are hilarious. Uh, those Vine videos, man. Those vines are amazing. They are like they should just stop right there because there's Yo, why, stuff that why is that. why is he taking off right now? Is it just because of the dance or is it like are they trying? I think to it's seriously because it's just a dance. Okay. It's part it's it's part of that, but he has <laughs> and he has, in my opinion, like what I've seen based off Twitter, he has more of a buzz in New York than Troy Ave has more of a buzz. And Troy Ave has worked his ass off for like the last four years, and Schmurda just put out that video in March, and he got like. The funny thing is, he didn't take off till after Summer Jam. So Summer Jam hit, three weeks later we get this Schmurda song and, and all these vines and stuff, and then now he gets a record deal. Wow. He, I, I'm, he, I'm gonna have to check he, this out. For me, like New York's Chief Keef or something. Pretty much. Golly. Alright, I'm gonna have to I haven't even listened to Troy Ab, honestly. Don't. Which, yeah, <laughs> I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be worth it at all. <laughs> It's Yo, not if that. You, if you want to hear Troy Ave, just listen to Fifty Cent Power the Dollar. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so he's like a clone, no, basically. like no lie, no lie. All right, but uh, um, Joe, I think I think I think for my song though, I think I figured it out. I would like to hear Dom Kennedy on a Just Blaze beat. You think he would fit that? I think he could fit that. Justice did actually, some low-key stuff. Actually, not only Don Kennedy, but that group of artists that came out around the 2010 time. So him and Crit and J. Cole. Gotcha. Okay. I see what you're saying. I think that would sound pretty decent. I think that would be pretty fly, as a matter of fact. Um, I've heard Crit and Cole on a track together already. Uh, yeah. I can't remember who produced it, but yeah, I think that'd be it, yeah, that. Yeah, um, Kendrick was on that one too. Yeah. Yeah, um, whatever. Uh, I've got one sort of an idea for my album, but um, for that, I wanted to ask you guys whatever happened to Heat Makers, the guys who used to make it just that Heat to move back? Yo. Are they like still around or did they break up or something? I think, I think they're still around. I recall um, looking at one of my record pools one day, and um, one of the Heatmakers members, he was like trying to do a solo like album. So like he had like a solo song, okay. and I don't remember listening to it or even wanting to listen to it. But <laughs> it was like I was just like damn, like I knew from there like we weren't gonna get any good Heatmaker stuff after that. That's yeah, I would like to see them, you know, produce a whole album for one of these new MCs, like, you know, whether it's Kendrick or um, J Electronica or, you know, one of these new <laughs> I'd like albums. to hear anybody produce something for J Electronica. <laughs> <laughs> J Electronica album sounded like Pootie Tangs right now. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, heat makers, man. I hadn't thought they, about they that. They make right. anyone sound hot, like, because Joel Santana, he wasn't really one of the most lyrically gifted back in the day. But, um, you know, on those beats, like, Dipset just sounded amazing. So. Yo, I paid good money for that Joel's album, and I was so, like, 
taken away by how dope heat makers were all over it. Like it was crazy.